everyone. I'm putting this video on for anybody who might feel they're in darkness right now. Anyone who might feel that they can't carry on or anyone who's having suicidal thoughts or anybody who needs extra support from heaven right now. And I'm here to tell you that you are not alone. You are not alone. Even when you feel like nobody understands you, that there's no way out of a situation, that you can't see the light in the darkness. You are never alone. The angels are always with you. And the angels never leave your side. They are always there to call on for help and guidance and support. And we all go through times in our lives where we feel lost, we feel broken, we feel that we can't go on. And we have to pick ourselves back up out of these situations because life is a learning curve. Life is a huge lesson and a test of endurance and strength and patience. And we have to get ourselves back into a place of power when we're in these times of need. And when we're in these times of need, the only thing that will help us is by tuning into something bigger than ourselves because we haven't got the strength to move ourselves forward a lot of the time when we're in ego, when we're in illusion, when we're in fear energy and we need to know that there is something bigger than us that is, has our back and is protecting us, supporting us, loving us and guiding us and that's the actual truth and there's been times within my life where I've been at rock bottom and the angels have really saved me and I, I'm sharing this with you because I know that the angels will save you if you allow them in. And the first step is really allowing them in to help you. And sometimes you have to be so broken that, you know, the only thing you can do is call on heaven. The only thing left to do is call on heaven. And that's when people find faith. You know, that's when people find faith in something bigger than them. So, you know, if, you, if you're feeling broken right now, if you're feeling lost or alone, I really urge you to ask the angels for help and support. Ask Jesus, God, whoever you want to call on, you'll be guided to who you want to call on. But just say, you know, please help me. I feel so lost. I feel alone. I need to know that I am loved and supported. Thank you for helping me to heal. Thank you for helping me to know that I am I am not alone and it may be hard to say that when you're feeling broken to say thank you for something you may feel like there's nothing within your life to say thank you for but the angels are always with you and you know apart from your guardian angel you have free will as a human so you have to ask for this help so if you say give me strength Archangel Michael will come in and give you strength if you say heal me you know you're calling on archangel raphael you have to ask for heaven's help and support but the best way to do it is with gratitude if you can say thank you angels for being with me i am lost i am alone thank you for giving me peace thank you for giving me light in the darkness thank you for showing me the way thank you for giving me strength to carry on thank you for helping me to know that i am special and that i am loved and supported and that i am safe because ultimately we want to know that we are safe and if you're feeling lost and broken right now then you need to know that you are safe because what you are doing is you are feeling like your inner child. You know, we've all got an inner child within us, that little person inside ourselves who feels lost and alone and who needs someone to look after and nurture them. So your inner child right now is craving love, craving attention, craving an adult to come and take you by the hand and say everything's going to be okay. You are going to survive this day. You are powerful, you are strong, you are independent. And the angels give you the power of that. Your guardian angel is born by your side. You know, is with you when you were born. Your guardian angel is assigned to you from heaven. God the creator, whoever you believe in, assigns that specific guardian angel to you for your entire lifetime. How amazing is that, that there's an actual angel that never leaves your side, that's unique to you, that is with you, that loves you, that goes through everything you go through, that holds your hand in the darkness. 
but sometimes we get so caught up in what's going on on the 3D and the earth realm that we don't see the light that's right by our side because we only see darkness, we see the bad things, we, you know, if we get in debt or if we get in pain or loss or grief or suffering then, and then we mask it with addictions like alcohol or drugs or anything like that even overeating you know then we get lost with an ego and we can't see the light that's right next to us and your guardian angel is right next to you right now just wanting you to see their wonderful light and your guardian angel is with you from the moment you were born right through until the moment you pass away and you know, your life is a precious gift. You've chose to come down in this journey, you know. You, you're you a soul that's chosen to come down to learn and grow and evolve. So everything you're going through right now on a soul level has already been agreed because it will ultimately make you stronger and wiser and more of an amazing person more of an it's a test of character to build your character to make you into who you are a being of love and light and purity and this is what we need to know this is why we need to have faith when we're feeling broken or lost or alone we need to believe that there's a reason behind everything and that you've been given this amazing gift for a reason. You have chosen this gift of life for a reason because your soul wants to grow. Your soul wants to learn and evolve and become stronger and more powerful. So the first step really, if you're feeling lost and alone, is to actually realize that you chose this journey. So it's accepting where you are now because the worst thing you can do when you're feeling broken or lost or alone is go into victim mode. Poor me. Everybody's got it better than me. My life is a mess. Do it. Poor me, poor me, you know. You need to take responsibility because everything that's going on in your life, you've attracted into your life in some way or another. And sometimes it can be hanging around with negative people people that are toxic to you, putting yourself in toxic situations not having self-love or self-worth in your life, you know, masking things like drugs, alcohol, those kinds of things. And the first step is to really accept, okay, my life is where it is now. I now make a conscious decision to change things, to move forward and become a greater version of myself. I want to live in the light. I want to be happy. I want to be at peace. I want to be free. I want to be out of these change of suffering, you know, I want to have more money, I want to have a great job, I want to have a wonderful relationship, and yes, I'm saying I want, but this is the first step, when you change it to desire, then you attract everything that you desire in, but if you're broken and feeling alone, you won't care about anything spiritual, you'll just think, poor me, you know, so you need to uplift your energy, the second step is really calling on the angels for help. Thank you for giving me the strength that I need to move forward. Thank you for giving me the solutions that I need to move out of this rut that I'm in. Thank you for helping me know the way forward and to know that I'm not alone. Thank you for helping me. And even if it makes you feel a little bit stronger, then it's proof that something is working. That little bit of light is starting to come in into the darkness, you know. And then it's about following and taking guided action. Now, I can give you this advice. The, the angels are always with you. So if you're feeling like you're going through this right now, the first thing that I'd do is really try and just have an hour, just one hour alone. Turn your phone off. Turn social media off, you know. Lock yourself in a room where nobody's there and do some breathing. Do some breathing. When you breathe, it automatically connects you with source energy, the your higher self, the inner you, your inner guidance system. And it will automatically bring peace in because in the present moment, you're always safe. If you're in the present moment now and you're thinking that you are not safe, it's because you're worrying about tomorrow. You're worrying about something that hasn't happened yet. You're fearing something or you're thinking about the past. You're reliving it. You're trying to change it. You're wanting to change it. It's creating fear and illusion. 
So, you know, you've, this, this is what happens. You're either fearing the future or regretting the past. And when you're in the moment, when you're in the present moment, you are safe, you are supported, you are loved, and you are understood. So just sit there breathing and bringing yourself into the present moment. Then pray, okay? Do it however you want. You can say, dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. Thank you for being with me. Dear angels, thank you for lifting me up. You can pray like that. You can pray like that. You can say, thank you, angels, for loving me. Thank you, universe, for supporting me. Thank you, Mother Sky, for um, Father Sky, Mother Earth. Whoever you believe in is irrelevant. It's all the same, okay? It's what you believe. So you have faith that there is something bigger than you, and there really, really is. So the next step is praying or asking for help in some way. And asking the angels to help to guide you out of the darkness into the light by giving you active solutions. Solutions that you can then take guided action to change your situation. And then the best advice that I can give you, what the angels are telling me, is get a pen and a, a, a pad and sit there for a good hour, okay? A good hour, this is if you're broken, if you're feeling at rock bottom, sit down for an hour and write down everything, and I mean everything you're grateful for. And if you're sitting there thinking, well, I've got nothing to be grateful for, be grateful that you've got a device that you can watch this video on. Be grateful that you've got eyes to see this video on. Be grateful that you've had a meal today. Be grateful that you've got water to drink. Be grateful that you've got a roof over your head and clothes to wear and shoes to wear. There's people in third world countries that will give anything for those amazing things. Be grateful that you can turn a tap on and water comes out. That you can go and have a shower. That you can turn gas and electricity on. That you can put your television on. You know, whatever it is. If you're a homeless person, be grateful that you, you know, you can breathe in the amazing air, that you're alive, you know, that you have the power to create your reality and change your situation. There is always something to be grateful for. And write it down, thank you for. I am so grateful that I am alive. I am so grateful that I can change my situation. I am so grateful that there are angels watching over me, ready to help me right now. I am grateful that I am a powerful creator of my universe. I am grateful that I am grateful, you know? There's so much to be grateful for. And if you spend just a few minutes in gratitude, it will raise your vibration. And there's no way you can stay in darkness when you've been genuinely grateful. So spend at least an hour in gratitude if you're broken, if you're feeling suicidal, you're at your lowest. Spend some amazing time in gratitude. And then surrender and let go and allow the angels and heaven and the universe the time to start working on you. Okay, Because it takes 28 days to change a habit. To, to change a situation but the angels can turn things around like that you just have to have faith and know that if you ask for something like if you ask for a sign now show me a sign they're not going to drop something into your lap two seconds later because it's all about divine timing excuse me you have to have faith that things are being lined up for you you have to have faith when you put something in the oven to cook you don't pull it out straight away and say, it's ready, now I can eat it. It needs 30 or 40 minutes preparation time. It's the same with when you're working with yourself, when you're setting intentions or when you're wanting something to change in your life. You have to give it the preparation time. But your job is to ask for help, set the intention and then let go with unwavering faith that it's already been sorted out for you that's what you need to do that's how to overcome darkness so if you're going through darkness right now then have faith and trust and you know you know there's something bigger than you otherwise you wouldn't be watching this video today so have faith and trust in the bigger picture that you are being molded into something better and remember when we're born we're born as these amazing babies that you know, are so connected with source energy. And then as we grow up, we get molded into other people's ideas and opinions. And, you know, we, we grow up and we have opinions and all these things going on. And then we have to remold ourselves into a spiritual creature that is 
that takes our entire lifetime to do. So we are molded. So we are having preparation time as well. So, you know, don't beat yourself up that you're not as spiritual as you'd like to be or you're not where you'd like to be because it's all about preparation and timing. So have faith in the bigger picture and know that everything happens for a reason. But your job right now is to get into gratitude, to feel good, to ask for help and know that something bigger than you is around you, supporting you, loving you and guiding you. Have a wonderful day and I'll see you soon.